Hello and welcome back to another exciting history of Godzilla, where we're going to suffer. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll yeah, see if we can get yeah. through without being struck by lightning first. Uh, uh, yes, this is the episode of a few of you have probably been waiting for. We had to torture ourselves by rewatching Godzilla 1998. Yeah, you did, I wasn't going to. I already uh, saw enough. Yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. that's a lot of fish. Uh, but before we get into that, we have to discuss a little bit of the American Godzilla history before Godzilla 1998. Mm. And that all begins. In 1977, with Marvel Comics. 76, I believe, actually, was was when it actually... License-wise, license yeah. License-wise, I think. Yeah. Actually, yeah, it wasn't produced. Yeah, it yeah I believe Shogun 77. Warriors first, and then mm. Godzilla. Yes, they actually but, had the yeah. rights to Godzilla and Shogun Warriors, but yes. they never met in the comics. No. But, but, they, they, but Mattel had the rights to both the toys, so those yeah. got produced. I tried to see if there was anything else before that that, that Americans had done with Godzilla before... Uh, before um, 1977, there really wasn't. Uh, no. There really, other than you know the Japanese movies coming over, there was uh, and a few no and a few uh, merchandise things. But a few things, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the earliest, as far as merchandise people remember, is the Aurora model kit. Of yeah. Course, that, that, and, and I had that one when I was. I remember that back yeah. in the mid 70s. So. And then in 78 was the big Mattel with the shooting hand, yep. uh, fire tongue, and yep. everybody remembers that. So, But uh, as far as actually anything getting produced, as far as, um, what would you call it, media? Uh, yeah, um, no, uh, media. the Godzilla comics from Marvel, Marvel the first first. day of, yeah. are the first and that ones. that was, uh, Doug, what was his name? I've got it written down over there. Doug, Doug, Doug Menick. Menick and, yeah. and Herb Trent. Yeah. So it was supposed to be just, it was a 24 issue series. Yeah. Um, that, that they did have the rights with Toho to produce this. Yep. Um, so and it's the only time you'll ever see Godzilla with fighting against the Avengers and Spider-Man. Yes, and, yeah. yeah. I mean, it was it was, uh, it was a little inconsistent because his, oh, very his much size so. changed and his yep. appearance changed. He was green and scaly. And yep, yep. They did that kind of thing. So, uh, so And once the, um, the license run out, they still wanted to continue it. They yep. had him apparently mutated by, by another character, Dr. Demonicus, I believe. Yep. And he captures and mutates him, and they started calling him that something was, else. That was Iron Man 193. Oh, he knows that, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 193. And yeah. it was, and that, um, uh, but it, it, even that didn't last for very long. So, no, and so, uh, Toho but, are very, yeah. very on that button with the suit. Yeah. <laughs> and actually, interesting thing too, for those that might remember the three jigsaw puzzles actually it was mm -hmm. four the fourth one's impossible to find but a lot of people remember that i had all three actually if they remember the jigs the godzilla jigsaw puzzles from the 70s you know those are talking about yeah there's yeah. one reason only about one in a mountain cliff one in a city yeah. i mean it made for some dynamic really cool artwork actually mm -hmm. uh, though those make really amazing posters i mean it's obviously it's not kind of entirely godzilla but they're really cool pictures though and uh, and it was also the uh, Godzilla versus that Triphibian game came out of it, and there was a Triphibian yeah. pu puzzle that was a big long one, super hard to find. You'll never find it yeah. unless you see it for like a million dollars on eBay. <laughs> That's about the only way you'll find it. But those all kind of came out of that. And, and that yeah, time and speaking from my experience, I enjoyed the Marvel ser series for it, how silly it was. It yeah. Um, when I had a chance to get it a mm. few years back, when they actually did an omnibus mm -hmm. version of it, I'm like. Yeah, okay, I'll gladly pick that yeah. up, because it's, I, it's just silly fun. I had the first one for a while, and I sold it not mm -hmm. too long ago, but I looked over some of the some of the artwork again, and there was some, actually some really interesting... Oh, yeah. uh, no, that's, it, that's one of yeah, the things. Uh, there was some interesting drawings that when he comes out of the ice at the beginning, which yeah. I think was a nod to King Kong versus Godzilla. Yeah, Herb Trump and, uh, always did some really nice stuff. Yeah. I uh, yeah, met him a few was, years back, and mm -hmm. really nice guy. There was, I just remember in my, in my head as a kid, I thought it was really cool when he took the, in the story, the big oil pipe, and he smashes it on the ground, <laughs> actually, I thought that was the coolest thing in the world, actually, yeah. seeing that, and I, I wanted posters of those on my wall if I could, <laughs> but it was, yeah, it was, it was actually Yeah, if I remember correctly, when I met uh, Herb, he was selling some of the original that's that right. Oh, wow. But, uh, yeah, it's not cheap, let's just say that. Oh, I can believe it, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, other than that, however, there was also an animated series dun, for dun, Godzilla. Dun, dun. <laughs> Up from the depths. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
um, interesting story behind the Hanna Barbera uh, <laughs> because it was um, oh, which I believe was Joseph Barbera who actually really wanted to do to do it. He was the one yeah. who was the Godzilla fan and wanted so badly to do one. And he actually had to go through. He, he the only reason they managed to produce it was again because of Henry Saperstein. Yeah. So that name um, comes up a lot it through does. our series. Yeah. So. Yeah. The interesting thing is because it was a kid's cartoon, yeah. Godzilla could not, and because Godzilla is kind of a hero And because of, the story, of standards and practices. Yeah, yeah, he could not, uh, there couldn't be any violence, he yeah. couldn't destroy any buildings, crush any cars, and even really want him in a city. He could walk through it as long as he didn't hurt any. <laughs> <laughs> Which pretty much negates the entirety of Godzilla. Of it, yeah, so, and he, he says amazingly they kind of worked around it, so, <laughs> and that lasted, lasted for two years, and they had the Godzilla Power Hour, which I yep. remember, and I forget what the other cartoons were. With I think it, it was Fantastic Four, possibly? No, what or? was the one, there was like a four space something, and there was, there was... The blob and the rock monster and the dragon. Oh, okay. And, uh, yes, I, I, I know which one you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, which I thought was kind of <laughs> cool. And there was the jungle woman, who was like the female Tarzan, which yep. I never really liked. I thought it was silly. Yeah. But um, uh, yeah, not that. And then they kind of they lost the power hour. That just went yeah. for a year, and then it was just the one ha one shot half hour series. And uh, they didn't do too badly. I mean, uh, I think they wanted to include Godzuki as the kid factor, and, and yeah, I think and that, that did more damage than good. That pretty much did, did it in. <laughs> I know there's a lot of people out there who really like Godzuki, but, uh, and maybe as a kid it was just sort of comic relief, but anyone a little bit older who wanted that's, to take anything that, serious. That's the that. thing. As a kid, yeah. you, you, you're fine with Scrappy Doo and everything, but yeah. as you grow up, you realize he's yeah. killing the franchise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Strange too that if you watch it, you can't help but notice too that the size keeps changing. It was just as mm -hmm. bad as Marvel that yeah. at one minute he could pick up the whole boat in one hand to, to, to rescue them from a tidal wave or something. And there'd be another shot where he's walking next to it and it would be half his, his height, it would yeah. be like this long. So there was all these inconsistencies. He'd stand like over a city that, that would he'd make him look like a thousand feet tall and then he'd be yep. walking through the city with... And it was very, very strange, the, the sizes. I think they, they did it more for dynamic sake than they actually did trying to accurately depict his size. Yeah. Um, apparently his roar, um, they didn't go with the Toho roar, and I don't know if they, they wanted to, they just didn't want to do that. Yeah, or, I can't or, remember. But the voice was, oh, I can't think of his name. I'm drawing a blank on his name. Uh, the guy who was Lurch from the Adams Family. Oh, okay. Was the yeah. one who did the blah, sound when he, when he, when he roared. Hmm. But, um, I believe that's who. I'll have to maybe double check that. Somebody we will double check that. But I'm, I'm pretty <laughs> sure that was who it was. But uh, yeah, and that, so that lasted only two seasons. Yeah. And then there was a great disturbance in the force oh, God. as we went almost 20 years without Anything any Godzilla. Yeah. 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 Um, of course, that all changed. Mm. In 1996. Yeah, yeah. When Dean Devlin. And uh, Roland Emmerich mm -hmm. started work on, on uh, Godzilla, and, I, so, yeah. uh, and we were we were hopeful and scared all at the same time. I still yeah. remember all that because we we thought there'd be something really positive in that once they finally said they had it and they had this yeah. huge budget. Uh, we we really. Uh, you know, these were the guys who did Independence Day, and so which we was were, dumb, but a lot of fun. Dumb, stupid fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's. Uh, so, um, uh, yeah, and we had, of course when they had the first teaser trailer with Men in Black, yep. and I remember in the theater going to see Men in Black with a friend of mine. As do I. And you're, and I knew what they were building to, I knew what it was as it started, because it was the tour in the museum yep. with the kids, and then the foot comes down through the ceiling. Crushing the T-Rex skeleton. T-Rex skeleton, and when we saw that foot, you're like... <gasps> Wait a minute. <laughs> Do I want to be excited about this or not? Oh, so and yet, yeah. At, at my age, when I, in 98, I was like, woo! <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was like, sitting there going, I don't know whether to be excited or not. <laughs> All right, so. so when Emmerich and Devlin came into the film, mm. they discarded the script that had been around for a while mm -hmm. with the unproduced Godzilla vs. Yeah. the Griffin script mm -hmm. by Ted Elliott and Terry Rossio. Uh, 
Emmerich and Devlin also turned down the movie, not once, but twice, saying that it was more or less beneath them and would have been cornball as all get out. Devlin and Emmerich, the guys who made Independence Day. Uh -huh, yeah. And, yeah. Okay. and the only reason they accepted the job was they could do the film their way. And, oh boy, did they do yeah. it. Uh, they were given complete free reign over the project. Mm -hmm. And they completely reinvented S the Godzilla design. Somewhat. They, <laughs> they, uh, see, the thing is, Toho had specific rules. Yeah. And as far as even, like, even the design. And strangely, they actually still follow the rules. Godzilla yeah. had to have three rows of plates, with the center plate being the largest. He had to... Uh, he had to have... Uh, what was it again? The, um, there was certain there was certain aspect. He had to walk upright. He couldn't walk yep. on all fours. Um, the roar they still wanted, which they kept the roar. Yep. So there were all these little things. His hand had to have three fingers and a thumb. So... All of those things were there, actually. It's just... It's just that he didn't look no, like... No, because they wanted him, they, they specifically said that they, they didn't want a slow, lumbering Godzilla. They yeah. wanted one that was fast, that could run, well, they run also and didn't, chase helicopters. And, they also didn't want a fire-breathing Godzilla either. They didn't at first, yeah. But they had to change that in, like, the last few months mm. of production into... Him breathing a breath that just ignited things. Yeah, because the, so, the original effect was that he was just blasting all this stuff air down the street stuff, yeah. when he roared, and then they kind of added in a fire explosion afterwards. Yeah. So, which kind of looks a bit weird when yeah. you see it now. You can Thankful, tell it was an Thankfully, thing. the cartoon fixed that. They did, yeah. yeah. Because, wow, that cartoon is a heck of a lot better than the original. It was a lot better, yeah. Yeah. He, he's still, the tough part is in both, though, is that he's still susceptible to. Mm -hmm. to injury from rockets and I yeah. think, which is um, so basically uh, Emmerich and Totopoulos and Devlin went to Japan and showed off the design mm. to Toho mm. Toho kind of just sat there slack jawed and Very silent funny. for quite a few minutes apparently and then yeah. told them to come back tomorrow mm. So they apparently the the word was that they says when they unveiled it the room was silent. Yeah, you could hear a pen drop. Yeah, and yeah, I don't think they so, were sure what to think about it. Apparently, one of the Toho execs went to a very sick Tomoyuku uh, Tanaki mm. uh, Tanaka, sorry, and discussed what the design was, and Tanaka gave it his blessing. So twenty four hours he, later, they yeah. got the okay to do the film. I think it was just, I hate to say it, but I think mm. it was just he was sick, he was not well, and he yeah. was just kind of like, meh. <laughs> just, <laughs> just do it. Do it. <laughs> there was the agreement, though, that they had to say, look, if you're going to do it, we have to differentiate. This is going to be yeah. the American Godzilla, and he is not the Japanese Godzilla. Yeah. So there had to be that, that distinction, man, that they were not going to be the same. Because yeah. uh, there was originally supposed to be a sequel plan to this. So Which actually became the cartoon. Yes, yeah. Uh, the cartoon yeah, basically is what the sequel was going mm. to be. And actually, I quite enjoy the cartoon. Well, the, actually, the, the sequel, I don't know if you've read the, the script for the sequel, oh, yeah. it's different though. They never did use that in the script, I don't think. It was to do with the giant insects. Yes, which and actually show up did in they? Oh, the okay. second season. Yeah, because the cartoon, I know yeah. they had to change one thing because in the sequel, the, 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 the queen insect was, mm -hmm. was known as the queen bitch. Yeah. <laughs> so they, they kind they of had to change that for the they cartoon. They couldn't do that one in the cartoon. No, no, but, the uh, moms would appreciate that. <laughs> So, Devlin and Emmerich did the spec script in five weeks. Uh, Viewpoint Data Labs created the digital model of Godzilla for, uh, for practical effects, however. Totopolis mm -hmm. created a sixth scale animatronic model of Godzilla's upper body and a 24th scale Godzilla suit uh, donned One by shot. stuntman Kurt Carley, uh, though the film skewed mostly digital. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It was strange that they even bothered with with doing the the suit shot because it was one where he comes up out of the ground. Yeah, where he actually crawls up. 
So maybe there was some logistical problems they couldn't do. Yeah, couldn't and do that's that, that, like that. that scene is touched up with a lot of CG. Anyway. It is, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, they had made some nice advancements. The, the mm -hmm. Sony had made some really, really nice... Uh, I mean, it had already been five years since Jurassic Park had been out. I think yeah. five or six years. I forget what year it came out. Uh, 93, for 93, so yeah. it, would have been, it would have been five years. Yeah. Um, so, and I mean, actually, in some ways, Jurassic Park still looks a little bit better. Ooh, but ooh Jurassic Park yeah. still looks way if better. If you, if you actually, when you watch the film, take note of some of the effects, if you ever manage to sit through mm -hmm. Game to End again, <laughs> if anyone yeah. will do that. Well, here's the it, thing. you got to yeah. respect them, because they did a lot of practical effects on this film. They still did, yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the digital effects are interesting, because they actually progressively got better through the film. What mm -hmm. you see at the beginning actually looks not as good as what you see at the end. Yeah. Actually, the ending the effects actually start looking better and they have actually said I think it's even in the um, in the what do you call it the uh, uh, commentary yeah. that they were actually already improving with their technology was proving through the progress of the production yeah. so what they had at the end was even looking better than what they had at the beginning so um, but it yeah. still didn't save the movie no um, the movie cost 130 mil mm -hmm. and made 379 million, but was still considered a failure. Yeah, and it, it was planned as a trilogy. Those planned trilogies never showed not, up. No, um, and like I said, the cartoon basically mm -hmm. acts as the real mm -hmm. sequel. And honestly, if you want to watch American Godzilla, the cartoon is better. pretty damn good. Yeah. It's, it's still a little bit silly. And oh, yeah. It's, it's, not, it's the same characters, um, but, but different it, voices. Actually, no. That's the weird thing. Mm. Few few of the people from the movie reprised their roles in the cartoon. Oh, did they? I thought it was yeah. they had to recast everyone. No. It wasn't, it wasn't Hank Azaria. <laughs> no, no. Um, a few of, the, fair, few of the characters who were in the movie yeah. were played by their actors from the oh, movie. Oh, I'd be curious so. about who. Okay. I'll have to look into that. Um, <laughs> yeah, because I, I remember... Um, in that year, too, it only had one film, really, that was... Uh, remember in 1998, there was mm -hmm. fewer blockbusters. Now, in the yeah. summer, you've got a movie every weekend. Yep. Back then, it wasn't like that. It had its chance to actually yep. make some money. Uh, well, it that's done, the thing. It did. <laughs> it, it could have done a little bit more, but its its only competition that year was Armageddon. Yeah. And it was no not a great thing, either. <laughs> yeah, there was... A lot of people liked it because of the song. And yeah. it, it no no contest cast. against Ar Ar Armageddon. <laughs> no, it had a big cast, but Armageddon still wasn't... Uh, I didn't think it was anything. No. So and they did, it didn't and you know, even Armageddon didn't do that much better. It did a yeah. little bit more, but not much. So um, so honestly, um, I recommend the cartoon mm -hmm. series for Godzilla. Yeah. Absolutely. And I mean, you can get it. For, you can get all fifty-two episodes for ten bucks. You can probably find one YouTube. Well, actually, you, you, you can <laughs> legally own it for ten dollars. It's yeah, worth yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, um, but. Um, the live action film, I kind of try to stay away from. I think everyone does. The year that that came out, um, I but hey, actually interesting points about that actually but, too. But hey, he got it. American Godzilla got into Japanese, Japanese Godzilla yeah. films. So. And Japanese had to then afterwards insist that he was only referred to as Zilla. Zilla yeah. So uh, I remember too that uh, a couple of things. We went to. G Fest mm -hmm. that year, and I think it was either just before or just after it came out. Yeah. I mean, people. I mean, it was it, it was like an agrarian revolt with people like yeah. pitchforks and torches mm -hmm. that were ready to like burn down. And um, uh, they were supposed to have Patrick Topless, and he canceled. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. and uh, for his own safety, probably yeah, for the best. Uh, but. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, I remember there was at the, the, the night of the costume contest. There was a group of people standing at the back with w with holding like sickles, and they were in like this group of four, and they were they had they had a toy of it hung up with a noose around its neck. <laughs> and it was oh, people were angry, angry. Yeah. One thing I, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna give it credit for one thing. I always said actually that the one thing that I I think I did like actually was uh, uh, David Arnold's score. Mm -hmm. uh, he actually actually some of that was really nice. Amazing score for that film. Although it was too bad it didn't have any of the Ifakube cues in it, which was yeah. too bad. But it actually is a pretty cool score, and it's I got a really good. Oh, I actually even like the score of that better than the the 2014 movie. Mm -hmm. uh, I, cause David Arnold's just a really really good good composer. So uh, yeah. I will I will give it that much. Um, um. All right, so before we close out uh, 98 Guts All, I'm going to share a funny little story yeah, about it. Please do. Um, back in 1997, 
when they were just getting around to doing stuff for mm -hmm. it. They started announcing the uh, toys and everything, right. but they weren't showing oh. the toys. Mm -hmm. So I saw some of the pictures and whatnot mm -hmm. from these, and I scanned them and sent them in to Ain't It Cool. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> Back when Ain't It Cool actually yeah, mattered. The, the babies were the ones that came up first, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I, I got a scoop on Ain't It Cool showing mm -hmm. off Godzilla's fins for the first time. Oh, okay, all right, yeah. <laughs> so this was way back in 1997, yeah, but okay. you still might be able to find yeah. it. Actually, if I can add to that, I don't mm. know if many people know, because this is before the era of the internet. The internet was just starting, so we weren't really using it fully yet for advertising. People really weren't communicating with the internet, so yeah. there's no spoilers. It was easier to keep spoilers at the time. Yeah. Believe it or not, it was Matt, was it Matt or Cracked? I think it was Mad Magazine that actually spoiled the ending before the movie came out. <laughs> they released their, 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 their you know, they have the, the comedy version of this guy. Yep, yep. They released it with the actual ending of him getting <laughs> trapped on the bridge and then... Spoilers if you haven't seen it. <laughs> Getting trapped on the bridge and then the rockets shooting him. And, and they actually spoiled it just weeks before the film came out. And they were. Uh, Sony was not happy about it. No, that. I, that would, was, I that would imagine that. Yeah, yeah, it was just the timing of it, just that it happened to release too soon. So, yep. yeah, I remember that actually. People were annoyed. People were angry when they actually saw it because the fans were jumping on anything they could get a hold of. Uh -huh. and, and when they saw it, they were going, What, the what do you were? mean, Godzilla can be killed? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. So we knew what was coming. Yep. Um, all right. So that closes out mm. the terrifying <laughs> 1998 Godzilla, yeah. Yeah. which uh, on its own is a fun, dumb monster it is a mon But it's not a Godzilla it's, film. No, it, it's <laughs> slight comedy. And if you think of it as a monster flicks with a bit of a comedy flair, you can tolerate mm -hmm. it a little bit more. So, yeah, but yeah. it sure as heck is not a it's Godzilla, not a Godzilla film. Movie, no. No, but. It's a mark on I think a few years later, uh, but in uh, 2014, we fixed that a little bit we better. Did. Yeah. yeah. With uh, Godzilla 2014. Mm. So let's get into it. I think at this point uh, we'll cover some stuff on it, but I oh, think yeah. because it was so recent, most people know a lot of the oh, details yeah. on this. So we're just going to rehash some stuff. We're, we're just going to tell you some of the little yeah. things. Uh, all right. So Godzilla 2014 had an estimated made a budget of 225 million mm. and made back 529 million. That's the worldwide intake. Yeah, that's yeah. the worldwide intake. Uh, back in October 2010, uh, Gareth Edwards, who did did the fantastic Monsters film. Mm. If you have not seen Monsters, do yourself a favor, go mm. check that out. He wrote, he directed, and did all the visual effects on his own. Mm. Yeah. It looks amazing. And Don't expect to see very many monsters. In no, this no. It's a character-driven story, by the way. That's exactly it. But that's yeah. why it works so it's damn well. well. Yeah. Um, don't watch the sequel, though. <laughs> no. no Dark, oh, monsters oh, Dark oh, Continent oh, is terrible. Oh, Visually, yeah. it looks amazing, yeah. but... Character-wise, it is deplorable. I didn't bother with it because I heard so many horrible things about yeah. it. So, so anyway, yeah. back to this. Mm. October 2010, Gareth Edwards uh, was confirmed to direct the film. Uh, however, the film remained in development through 2012, missing the original planned uh, release date. Mm. Now, several writers were brought in to do rewrites, yes, including David Goyer, uh, Frank Darabont, uh, Tony Gilroy, Max Borenstein. Uh, so mm -hmm. those are all pretty darn big names, yeah. especially Darabont. And apparently was some of Darabont's script was still in the 2014 mm -hmm. version. Some left and then some were replaced. Yeah, were some through. did, but a lot of the stuff that they did in the rewrites were mm -hmm. still kept. Okay. Uh, most of the stuff that Darabont did was the stuff that brought in uh, Brian, Brian Cranston. Cranston. Thank you. Uh, I am. I apologize to Brian Cranston. <laughs> uh, because, yeah. again, Brian Cranston is amazing. He's good. And he's little known cool. fact, he started as an he's anime good, voiceover good. guy. Yes, <laughs> so, yeah. And, and, uh, Power, Rangers Power Rangers as well. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I, that's just too much 1990s. Oh, yeah. Anyways. Um, too many late nights and... But we had a bunch of really great writers doing the script. David Goyer from the Dark Knight trilogy, mm -hmm. and lesser extent, 
the uh, Blade trilogy. Mm. <laughs> uh, Frank Darabont, The Mist. Oh, all right, yeah. yeah. Uh, Shawshank Redemption. Mm -hmm. Okay. The Walking Dead, to a lesser extent. Mm. But, yeah, and Tony Gilroy, who I'm not sh too sure on. Max Bornstein has done quite a few mm. big blockbusters as well. Uh, now, Andy Serkis also provided consulting work on the film's motion yes. capture sequences, where as T.J. Storm provided the motion capture performance for Godzilla, mm. while Matt Cross and Lee Ross provided additional motion capture performances for the Mutos and Godzilla okay, as well. Right. Uh, here's one of the weirder things that is sad that ha happened, but we didn't get to see. Akira Takarada had a role yeah. in the film, but it was cut. <laughs> And, you know, what's even to add insult to injury is that every, they kept saying they were going to have it in the bonus features on the DVDs. And they didn't. Never did. We and, remember that footage. No one's ever seen it. And Gareth and Edwards think, says it's one of the biggest regrets he has about yeah, the film. I, I wish there was someone we could still push Apparently, legendary just you, to... Apparently, you can see him for a brief second in mm, one of the yeah. scenes, but... And it's too bad. And the idea was that because he was in the very first one, so it was going yeah. to tie that together. And that's, yeah, yeah I'd, I'd really like to find It's really unfortunate, it but. Was, yeah. Because it, it wasn't even his decision, I think. I don't even think it came down to him. It's just too many too many Indian chiefs at the top, and then it ended yeah. up getting cut at the last minute. Which it's is kind of a shame. Very but, sad because it would have brought it. Yeah, it would have tied it together. Yeah. It, 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 um, even if they could have included it in the, yeah, in the, the bonus, bonus features, feature. that would have been nice. Yeah. But, um, all right, so the opening credits were designed by Kyle Cooper, mm -hmm. who had also done the opening credits for Godzilla Final Wars. Oh, okay, that makes sense, yeah. 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 The funny thing is the opening credits actually has a similar feeling to the 98 film, believe it or not. It a little bit, same yeah. kind of swell with the music. Yeah, and, yeah. a little bit, and yeah. it goes over some of the U.S. Yeah, like, top secret history, stuff and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Have you ever watched the credits too? Actually, it's interesting. You have there to is watch a lot it. of interesting stuff, stuff going that's on. Going on. If you ever <laughs> watch it frame by frame and look at how mm -hmm. they what they're blocking out and yeah. how they have the actors' names in the credits, it's yeah. actually really kind of interesting. I'll just leave it at that. But and have a look there at. are quite a few little uh, hints and yes. uh, little in jokes in there. Yes, there are. Um, now, Very clever actually. They did. Quite a few years of Godzilla at San Diego, mm -hmm. showing off different things. Yes, including yeah. stuff we've never seen again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, such as the uh, 2012 uh, teaser trailer. Yeah, people still want to see that because it was. I want to see different. it. <laughs> it was a bit different. It wasn't it the was. Mutos. It was something else. A uh, giant centipede. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which you see in, in, in the teaser trailer, which is kind of yeah. lying dead in dead. the wreckage. Yeah. yeah, but they never used that as mm -hmm. it was only for the teaser trailer, right. as the Mutos hadn't come into the right. project as of yet. Mm -hmm. So, honestly, I'd love to see some oh, of this well, footage, like to, yeah. or, you know, put it on to a DVD as an extra, mm -hmm. or do a MonsterVerse set. Because there had been descriptions, people described oh, yeah. what they saw there, and there is something to do with also a large spider-like creature yeah. as well that was in it, so that's something I'd be... And it wasn't quite the Muto, I know it has no. the big long legs, but it was more spider-like this. Yeah. yeah, and again, these were just done as promotion, not that was it. for... Yeah. And it was only meant heck, to even Godzilla's design was not finalized no. until 2013. There, so. was, there was also the... Um, what do you call it? They, they had a, a thing where they... You, you would go as a group into what was like an elevator that felt yeah. like you were going up 40 stories and then yeah. you come out and it's supposedly raining outside the window and Godzilla and walks by. I and saw footage in. of that. I did too, yeah. And that was, saw that. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. oh, why am I not in San Diego? Uh, yeah, that was Because like, that would have been... you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it looked cool. Yeah. That, that is it for did. sure. Yeah. Uh, Godzilla's face was a little very different from what they It was pretty used. close. It, it was, was close, but it was, it was a bit like more... A, out, mm. um, and his snout was a bit bigger, mm. but other than that, it looked um, pretty Which good. It was, yeah. yeah. Um, so I think also one of the fun things that I heard about on production wise mm. is when they were doing the uh, roar for the first time. Mm. They were using uh, speakers from uh, the Rolling Stones. Oh, I didn't know that. And uh, apparently, the first time they did it. With the one that they finally picked for the film, right. 
You could hear it 3.5 miles away. Because oh, <laughs> they brought it all outside to right. test it and everything. And when they let loose with it, wow. <laughs> apparently you could yeah. hear it upwards of 3.5 miles Jeez. away. It took them a while before so, they found... I don't know if that would terrify me or like, yeah. what the yeah. heck was that? I know, I know it took them a while till they found just the right sound mm -hmm. they wanted because they wanted it sort of update for a newer version, but they still needed it to sound yeah. the proper proper way that Godzilla would sound. And yeah. then what they got, they got worked. So, and yeah, quite that's... honestly, it it works. Mm. Um, oh, yeah. it, it feels like a Godzilla it does. film. It has that and uh, yeah. and again, yeah. Brian Cranston's performance was yeah. it's like just I amazing. It and it's a shame that his character dies yeah, right in the middle. Yeah, um, still, yeah, yeah, that sucks. Because <laughs> I, I would have preferred to follow him. Yeah, everyone did, yeah, everyone said, yeah, I mean, I mean, not to knock down... Especially to, you know, have his story be complete. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but I think, yeah. I'm always of the mind is like, oh, they dragged him off and then they... Uh, Revived him later, <laughs> and he's yeah, working he's with Monarch alive, now. He secretly had to work with Monarch or something, and they had to keep it a secret that he died, yeah. or that he was still alive. And then, yeah, uh, and that would so be an amazing could, way of doing it, bringing him back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's my thought anyway. I, I would live with that. If they meant I could, go, I could go with that. Yeah, yeah. if they bring yeah. him back for Godzilla too, and yeah, they just kind of bring him out of the shadows. It's like, haha, yeah. I'm not <laughs> dead, bitches. <laughs> but uh, quite honestly. Uh, the opening scenes. Mm. It's just heart wrenching. It is. It really, it's almost like a separate movie there at the beginning. And it and really it's, feels like it too. It was, yeah, it was kind of yeah. yeah. But I, I, yeah, I, some people actually kind of complained a little bit about it because mm. it felt so, in a sense, a little out of place for a Godzilla movie. That was this, this uh, very yeah, just yeah. Kind of this heart wrenching moment in that. But the, the, unfortunately, was, though. It, <laughs> Yeah. After Cranston leaves, yeah. you have a boring lead. Yeah, the lead just kind of didn't... I mean, I don't know. It's too bad because I like... And nothing against Aaron name. Taylor Johnson, no, but... I, I kind of like him in other things, but yeah. that just kind of wasn't... wasn't. Yeah, and I also... He like didn't he feel like lead no. material. Yeah. No. Um, but... Um, I, everybody has to agree that the, the, the ending kind of makes you smile a little bit when oh, you yeah. see him walking away and says, you know, King of the Monsters <laughs> on the monitor. I'm like, oh... Yeah, so that was... Is he a hero or a villain? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, I don't know, he yeah, destroyed your that. city. <laughs> well, he didn't go out of his way to destroy it, it was just in the process of fighting off other monsters. Yeah. So in a sense, I guess he's kind of a good guy, but it's like... And who knows how many thing. he killed on yeah. the way. I guess it's like the Gamera thing, right, where he, he yeah. shows up and blasts everything for the purpose yep. of, of being an Earth protector more so than, than yep. necessarily in the humans. Though, but, though Gamera yeah. will kill a lot of people. In the pros, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, Interesting thing too about what what the film made because mm -hmm. the the, uh, the it grossed two hundred million um, domestically yeah and a lot of people kind of get this a little bit confused because uh, the nineteen ninety eight film made one hundred and thirty yeah domestically now it sounds like more but when you adjust for inflation and go by ticket strike prices or t uh, ticket sales uh, strangely enough it actually made less than the 98 mm -hmm. movie it, it, it if you were to project it back at that time it would made a little less than 130 and it actually sold less tickets yeah. but i tell people don't forget movie going audiences are different now than it was in 1998 yeah. in 1998 yep. only had one film going against it which was armageddon mm -hmm. In this nowadays, every weekend is a new blockbuster a new movie blockbuster. coming out. What came yeah. out the week after was like X Men or something that came out that, that X Men. Time. Yeah, I think Days of Future Past. So it didn't, yeah. it didn't really stand much of a chance. Films only have about a week or two to make their money, and mm -hmm. then they're going to die out quick. There's the yeah. odd, there in the odd time you'll get the very odd that, time that you'll get something that will be stretches. week after week. But Wonder yeah. Woman was maybe the exception this year. Yeah. You know that it just kept making money, but but it's also now. There's 3D. You make money on the 3D sales, yeah. and and uh, it's expensive to go to the movies now. It's far more expensive compared to what you know. You, um, the rate of uh, inflation compared mm -hmm. to what your to people are making as compared to what they're spending at the theater. It's different from 1998. It was a whole different period. Uh, you know, to, people go to the movies multiple times and yep. times. To see a movie multiple times, this time nowadays not so much. Yeah. So you know when you're trying to take a family of kids and go out for dinner and pay a movie ticket, you know it's a like hundred bucks to spend out uh, for a night. Uh, and and yep. it's, it's that's just for the popcorn. And that's yeah exactly. <laughs> so it's it's 
all things considered, it, it did okay. It just it didn't do, I think, as great as they would have yeah. liked, but it still but did okay. we are still getting a sequel yes. in 2019. Yes. And, of course, the third film with Godzilla vs. Kong. Kong, yeah. Uh, and I guess we can't really mention those two films without mentioning Kong Skull Island. Yeah. Because it leads into the second it Godzilla yeah. film. It's kind of a prequel in a sense. I guess so, it, yeah. They, it's, it's happened before it, anyway, yeah. so... Uh, but we do learn a bit more in Kong Sky Island about Monarch and sure. their intentions and I'm, everything else. I'm looking more forward to the next sequel because it's going to have King Ghidra and Luan yep. and Mothra. Right. They've got the yep. rights to all those. I'm really curious to see what they're going to do with mm -hmm. them. I, I don't know why I've been less excited about Kong my freaking for myself, I think. Well, I think but Kong Sky Island was still a lot of fun. Well, it was still, <laughs> still a fun movie. I still, mm -hmm. still enjoyed it. I had some issues, but <laughs> oh, I, yeah. still, I still enjoyed it. But I'm looking forward to, to seeing what they're going to do with Ghidra mm -hmm. and Mothra. And I haven't seen them in so long in a new movie, yeah. so it'll be fun to actually now, see the, all those The only pictures. sad thing is that Gareth Edwards had to leave those he productions because yeah. he was originally going to do all three, mm -hmm. uh, but he had to leave. He uh, and he's doing I think, much smaller projects yeah, I now. Because he, he did Star Wars after that, and yeah. it was such a huge and, thing that was burnt and, him out. He just couldn't. Unfortunate. And yeah. honestly, I'm not a Star Wars guy, but I really enjoyed Rogue oh, One. I think Rogue One, it, because yeah, yeah. one of the things that Gareth Edwards knows how to do is character. Yes, yeah, he does. And that's what I'm kind of really scared of mm. for what might happen with the Godzilla sequels is that we might lose that. Lose, yeah. And Ooh, as, see. as much as I'm not a big fan of Aaron Ter Taylor Johnson as the lead in the first Godzilla, mm. at least he had some character. Had something going not on. as much as Brian Cranston, but, mm. uh, or Juliette Binoche at the start of the film. Right. But still, at least he was interesting to follow. To follow. Yeah. We'll see what they do. I mean, it's, it's a giant monster film. As everyone says, you don't really go for the story. You just oh, want yeah. to see giant monsters clash and have a big fight. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, we're going to get that. I think we're definitely <laughs> going to get that on a bigger scale next yeah. time. So, a lot yeah. of people, though, complained about how Edwards showed off the fights. Yeah, there's been a lot of... Me, personally, know. I understood it because that's exactly what he should have done. He does, I think... To really uh, amp you up for I'm, the end. <laughs> I'm sort of 50-50 on it, because, yeah, it's just it's just the big delivery cave. Most mm. Godzilla films follow a pattern, that there's a mm -hmm. smaller fight earlier yep. on, and then you have the bigger one at the end, that's what yep. you want to see. And I, I just would have liked to And a lot of people have... don't even remember that. No. They're like, why is, or where are, why are all these humans around? I want to see Godzilla. Yeah. And Godzilla would, doesn't usually show yeah. up until an hour in, yeah. folks. <laughs> that's and that's okay. I get that. That's that's <laughs> is you make the build up interesting. Mm -hmm. My I just wanted to see a little bit more at the airport. I yeah. wanted to see a little more of that fight. That was all. And then and then yeah, then you build up to the end the same yeah. way. It's just they they did a couple of times they did that because they did that and then when they when the fruit monsters first clash in the yep. city, and then they, they close those doors, and yeah. that kind of pissed a bunch of people off, because you feel like you're missing part of the fight. A little so, bit, but so, yeah. I honestly got it, and yeah. I'm like, okay, yeah, they're leading up to something. They're yeah. going to really go all out mm. with the fight. Yeah. So that's why they're teasing they you with yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, so, I, and I think, yeah, everybody kind of says it's that last 20 minutes is the big mm -hmm. payoff when yeah. you see a huge battle in the city, and they and, did it really well. Oh, yeah, and yeah. That, that is some of the most memorable mm -hmm. oh, yeah. stuff I've seen. I know everyone was excited when, when his tail lit up and his back fins lit up, and he let out that atomic breath, and it was just... Oh, this... that, that scene sent, sent shivers down my spine. I think it was you just... just... Because of all the surround sound and everything? Yes. You oh, just, yeah. like, you just hear this... <laughs> yeah, it's like up. oh His boy, chest seems up really <laughs> big until it. But it was just, I think it was satisfying that they yeah. got it right. Yeah, they did it all right, and, and they, they did. did. Yeah, and that was that was kind of pleasant to see. And and he used and he uses atomic breath twice because he yep. used it again at the end. So yeah, and that scene where he just blows it down the mountain, blows, it down, <laughs> blows his head off. Yeah, that yeah. was very gratifying. Mm -hmm. that moment, so that was it was. I enjoyed it. I, I was mm -hmm. I was very relieved at that because it was. It was Especially it was, after what we had to go through with yeah, Godzilla ninety eight, it was yeah. really nice to see someone who actually understood yeah. the Godzilla mythos. And we didn't, we, I mean, we didn't think we were ever going to see that. We didn't mm -hmm. think Toho would ever 
Yeah. Do that again, but but. And hey, Godzilla Dano, looked like Godzilla. <laughs> yeah, I think I think getting Bano on board because Toho was partially on board yeah. with this and oversaw. Now, they were like, we're not now doing ba it again. Bono was only an executive producer, yeah. which means he didn't really do much, if anything. The, but no, yeah, I, mean, I think they at least understood they what just they were seeing. Yeah, Dano, and that was yeah. And now it's created this monsterverse. I mean, yep. now we're getting you know. You've got Kong, and we've got you know the next two Godzilla films, and who knows what else yep. they're going to tie and into. Possibly that even so Pacific Rim might be tied into that as well. About that. So, so yeah, yeah. yeah. And, good things uh, ahead now. For, oh yeah, for the and uh, if we're lucky, all the films will be really mm. good. <laughs> yeah, and now you know Toho has of course done another Godzilla film yep. alone, so that we and, they're not going to uh, do anything more until after. Until and, after yeah, as for, uh, at least until after 2020. So yeah, yeah. it's still going to be a, quite a few years before we see another Japanese yeah. Godzilla film. We've got the animated Godzilla film mm -hmm. coming out in November That's slash right. December. Yeah. Uh, but Godzilla, other what's it called? Godzilla Monster Planet. Monster Planet. That's yeah. it. And that one's coming to Netflix here. Mm -hmm. So we'll November. definitely be back uh, when once that comes out to talk about it. Mm. But next time we will next be talking. Time. We will be talking about Godzilla spin-off films. Mm -hmm. Mothra, yes. War of the Gargantuas, Rodan, you name it, we're going to talk about it. It's the world, yeah. I'm yeah. looking forward to, to this uh, one, actually. I, I really wish I could find a copy of The Mysterian so I could mm -hmm. watch and review that again. We're going to dig it up somewhere. So I'm, I'm sure we can find we'll it. Find it but, but, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to doing this Looking one, forward to bringing that, mm -hmm. and then after that, we might just talk about Possibly Gamera, possibly King Kong. We will see. I would like to. I would like to do those, actually. We'll see if we can get into the the, the Gamera series. I think we'll have to do that in two parts. Yep. Because you got to talk about the 60s and then the 90s and yeah. early 2000s. Yeah. 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 And then the unproduced Gamera film. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Yeah. That was one that brought tears to many eyes when they found it. So mad about that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they are such teases. All right. So... That brings us to a close on this very exciting history of Godzilla. We will see you next time.